YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Today was an insane day on FC24. We pretty much got a nearly guaranteed team of the year messy player pick. We're going to look at the market. A lot of stuff is rising from that. We're going to look at fodder. We're going to look at some investments we could be making. And we're going to take a peek at some leaks and expected content in the next couple days. But before we get into all that, we're going to talk about content today on Tuesday. If you want to have millions of coins in EAFC like me, go to u7buy.com for cheap, fast, and reliable coins. Make sure you use code Teddy at checkout to get 6% off your order. Link is in the description down below content today on tuesday was wild uh if you were on that content it was just it, it, crazy today a player pick came out the only new sbc of the day it was an 86 plus player pick this got leaked i don't know if we mentioned it in the previous video but it was leaked we definitely did definitely did uh but it was leaked to end up being an 86 plus player pick but only team of the year leagues so MLS, Saudi League, Premier League, Syria, La Liga, stuff like that. Only leagues that had team of the years in them. So it was actually really hype. And they you can see here it's not it's not here anymore. They got rid of it. Basically, the player pick it's any team of the year league and they must have not realized. I think there was also another issue where there were Syria females in the player pick, but Syria females the 86 overall whatever it is from that league there's no female team of the year that's in that league so that was broken so maybe we're all going to get another player pick because that player was not supposed to be in there I think I got her as well in my player pick I think it's the female from Juventus I forget her name is it like G-I-R yeah Gorelli Oh, I just looked at Olivier Giroud on Footbin. But uh, Gorelli, the female, I don't think she was supposed to be in there. But the main issue was with the player pick. I mean, I don't even want to look on Twitter. I don't even want to look. It, everyone got messy. I, I'm not even going to pull it up because it hurts me to look at it. If, if you go through Twitter, look at any of my tweets or just look up FC24 on Twitter. There's a reason why Team of the Year Messi is trending on Twitter. Um... It's it's it was a guaranteed 86 plus from all team of the year leagues. But the thing is, if you got MLS as like the league for your player pick, the only 86 plus player from the MLS is Messi. So what happened? Everybody was packing Messi because if you got an MLS 86 plus who would pop up Messi, he's the only one. Let's look concept players MLS who is there. Where's the MLS MLS? Where are you? Where you at? Where is it? Boom. Gold MLS. Who is the only 86 plus rated card? It's only Messi. So Messi was in so many player picks. It wasn't guaranteed, but I'd say it was like a 30 to 40% chance you got team of the year Messi. It was wild. This player pick was out for like 20 to 30 minutes. I think it was more like 25 minutes and then EA took it off the game. Uh, I'll show you guys their tweet real quick. And we go to Twitter. Bada bing, bada boom. Uh, this has affected the market as well. With everybody getting messy, links to Messi have flown. Absolutely skyrocketed. Messi's card got panic sold a little bit, but then it rebounded because it's it's an untradeable player pick. But you can see here, we have identified an issue with the 86 plus team of the year league SBC. As a result, we've disabled the SBC. Uh, where's my Messi? I didn't get Messi. Boys, I didn't get messy. Everyone, look, free Messi for all FC24 players. Free Messi for everyone. I did the SBC. I didn't get messy. There's a bunch of people though that like didn't even get to do it because they weren't maybe on at content drop. The SBC was only out for about 25 minutes. So let's just look. If we if we click on my tweet right here, it's probably people replying with Messi. Let's see. No, I have five replies, but one pops up. That's interesting. Uh, but yeah, everyone got messy. Um, what are they going to do compensation wise? I don't think there's going to be any compensation if I'm being honest with you guys. If anything, they're going to just give everyone the player pick again because of the whole Syria female issue. Um, And that's that's probably it. A9 skills had a really good tweet. He said, if anything, EA should for 24 hours do a flash SBC, a flash SBC and it should be the same value as the 86 plus player pick, the SPC that they took off the game. It should be the exact same value. It should be a flash SPC, 24 hours, and it's messy team of the year. And um, 
that's that. That's how they could fix the issue. Because there's so many guys. You're going to play foot champs. You are going to see that team of the year Messi. Probably constantly. It's it's really shitty. Um, he's going to be everywhere. I, I don't know. It, it's a crazy situation. Um, and it just sucks. Because think about it. People saved packs. Like, it sucks for me to see it. I saved packs. I had over a thousand packs. I've been opening packs nonstop. And I've got nothing. I've got nothing to show for it, but you have people that have opened nothing. They didn't save any packs, but they went out and they did that one SBC, boom, team of the year Messi. And I, I'm not, I can't complain. I packed a team of the year. I packed two team of the years, but they were both herbs. But like, I don't consider herbs a team of the year. She's literally just fodder. She's literally just fodder. That's it. So I don't really consider that a team of the year, but I'm not going to complain about Lom. Lom was actually good. Other people, there's people that have opened thousands of packs. Jose and Chill, another content creator, dude had over 2,000 packs. He didn't get one blue. And then he did that 86 plus player pick. He didn't get messy. Like, that is just mind blowing. It's mind blowing. And then you have people that did, they saved nothing. They saved nothing. Absolutely nothing. Like, ah, oh, screw it. 86 plus player pick. Boom, messy. Ah, it was it was crazy though. I I was the first to open that player pick. I didn't get messy, and then my Discord just started blowing up today. Teddy, look at this player pick. Teddy, look, I just got messy. It was, oh my god, I don't know. But um, let me know what you guys think in the comment section about that. What you think EA should do? What could they do to compensate to compensate everyone with it, or what you think they're going to do? Personally, I think a uh, messy flash SBC for the price of that eighty six plus player pick would be a great idea. Um, what do I think they're going to do realistically? I think they're going to do nothing, which sucks. They're probably just going to give us an 86 plus player pick. Uh, maybe they keep the odds the same though. That'd be crazy. If the odds stay the same and we have a chance of getting messy, if it stays that way, I'm going to craft, I'm going to do as many accounts as I can and craft the player pick until one gets messy. And that'll be my account. That'll be my main account for the rest of the year. Uh, little update as well. This Zola markets rising. Um, the Messi situation, links to Messi have absolutely skyrocketed. Like here, I'll, I'll pull it up real quick and then we'll get into the rest of the video. But Messi links, I mean, any any card that links to Messi. Zanetti, this dude, I think pretty much doubled. He's back down in price, but he went from, I think, 200 to 300K. Where is it at? 190 to 350 almost. Look at that. Oh my God. And then again, right here, this one went from, I think he went to almost 200K. Zanetti went from 100 to 176. It was it was crazy. Um, but that's that. Uh, Mark is rising though, guys. Pfft, before I get into that, I gotta finish what we were talking about content wise. There's a new evolution. Uh, new evolution. I don't know how crazy it is. I don't think there's anything insane, but there might be chain evos that are really good. That's about it. I think it's the double pursuit one. Potentially, I think it's that one. I'm not too sure, but. I was looking on Twitter. There's a lot of uh, evolutions where you put multiple evolutions together and you get something. I think there's another Adopo evolution that's a 98 overall. If you look at Foot Police's Twitter, uh, where is it at? Foot Police. If we go Adopo again, 98 overall. Crazy. And then uh, this Javi guy, 94 overall. Looks really solid. Three playstyle pluses, by the way. Um, I don't know how this one is done. Put into FC Champs Evo from Team of the... Oh. Oh, I get it. I was so confused on how this worked. So you need the Foot Champs Evolution to make them a red card. Because the issue with these Evos is it can't be an in-progress evolution. But if you put the Foot Champs, the red Evo, it's no longer an in-progress evolution. That's crazy. Okay. Awesome. I see. So a lot of really crazy combined evolutions. 98 overall. Adopo. Oh, display capture. Window capture. Adopo. Three play styles. 85 pace. 95 defending. 94 physical. Can play center back. Dude looks cracked. Um, he's extinct again. So good luck buying him. Uh, so that's the content. Now, market. Fodder. It's all up a ton. The fodder. Everything's up. Fodder's up uh team of the year cards are up more team of the year icons are up more we bought this live in the youtube video i bought this zola 750k i was confused why he was that low i was hoping to sell him for 800k he's all the way up he was almost 850 he was about 850 coins around content drop let's take a peek how much is he now 
Zola is 8.30, almost 8.40. So doing really good there. Uh, everything. Check, I think, was like 360. The dude is pushing 380. A every card is up in price. I think Lom was like 1 mil 50, 1 mil 30. He's 1.2 mil almost. Let's take a peek. Is it 1.2? Nah, he's like 115. So everything's up. Team of the years are up. Team of the year honorable mentions are, are, are chilling a little bit, though. Nothing too crazy here on these. The Trent is still fairly low. Bernardo Silva is still fairly, uh, fairly low. Musiala is still around 300. Kane still fought or price at 115. Um, if you are looking to buy any of these cards, like I said, I think your buy time is going to be before rival rewards. So that is Thursday. Wednesday night is probably when you want to Wednesday anytime Wednesday is probably when you want to look to buy these players uh the higher end ones probably are just rising though I haven't watched them let's see is Mo Salah just going up in price because he's he's a fairly hard card to pack I would assume um he's on a high trend right now maybe try to get him on a low trend below like one two if you were trying to buy him so stuff's up the team of the years rose more Team of the honorable mentions, we just went over that. Fodder, let's take a peek at that. The 86 plus fodder is still all basically extinct. 88 is very close to extinct. 89s, they're all very expensive. It's really hard to get high rated fodder at the moment. 85s, I told you guys in the last video, 5,500 coins again. We slapped on 85s. Cooked. Nice little profit there. Um, they're really expensive right now. Even though they're really expensive, I still think they can rise for a few reasons so the 86 plus player pick that sbc was an 85 overall squad i believe i think it was 187 minimum but still a lot of 85s are used in that and then uh a lot of sbcs are also refreshing tomorrow that require 85 so a lot of stuff requiring 85s i think if you do want to pick them up they'll probably be over 7,000 coins tomorrow but we want to see them drop more tonight maybe like 6k flat would be a better range for those uh 84s you guys know how i feel about these they're so low risk 1100 coins you can pay 1200 on bid if you have to but i would prefer to get them for 1100 coins now the filters for you to buy those cards let's go take a peek let's go take a peek let's take a peek the filter for 84s is oh god i'm frozen of course of course of course, of course. let's refresh while we're refreshing let's just talk about maybe the market a little bit more um everything's rising take your profit whenever you want i see the market continuing to rise for another week or two if you have players in your team like i have my mbappe we bought him for two six he's three five i'm still holding this mbappe was four mil i said he'd go to six mil he's, he's pretty much there uh, i think a lot of stuff keeps rising people have been asking me about team of the years in their team teddy do i keep do i sell i think all these cards just keep rising for another week or two i think i think they'll just be rising they're so good and they're so rare so that is my take on these team of the year cards same thing goes for just meta players in your team like my team of the week mbappe and my team of the week van dyke i am just holding them now uh 84s 1100 1200 um you might have a really good chance to pick up 84s thursday because thursday we're gonna have rival rewards so if you're struggling to buy them tonight i'd say thursday they'll probably be a lot easier at 1100 1200 coins because rival rewards you'll probably see a lot of 84s getting packed um now the filters let's go over the filters so we said what 6k on 85s 1200 max on 84s and your filter looks like this now for 84s you might be better off just picking a player you might just be better off picking a player and looking for bids because a lot of these bids look to already be at 1200 so you might just have to look up illustant Kulabali, castiles just look them up do max price 1100 and just just bid that's it you might have to bid pretty far out let's see if i go <clears throat> Kulabali. Kulabali, boom, boom, 1100. How far out do I have to bid? It's not even that bad. Yeah, it's not even that bad. So I'd probably just look up a few players, bid 1200 max, and then list them up for like 1500, 1600 coins while we wait for them to rise. Uh, if you want listing up for 1800 as well, is fine. I, I think that's perfectly fine. Uh, so that's 84s, 85s. Your filter for 85s is going to look like this. Let's go 5.9 and something like that. That should pop up with quite a few 85s. Now, they are fairly expensive right now, so you're going to have to wait for them to drop. But hopefully tonight they should be closer to 6K and we can get for like 5.9, 6K, something like that. But this will be your filter. Now, if you're not seeing too many cards pop up when you do this, it might be because the 2-1 is just, it's too low. The, the start price at 2-1. So you might want to go 
instead of 2-1, up it to like 5K. So we could go 5K right there, boom. And hopefully a few more 85s can pop up when you do that. But I'm hoping tonight supply, they come down a little bit more. Uh, what else? Team of the Weeks. I, I think Team of the Weeks are actually a decent buy going into tomorrow because like I said, a lot of SBCs are refreshing, requiring requiring 85s, requiring Team of the Weeks. They're actually up a little bit right now. 8, 19K. I want, I want them at 18K, but you might have to pay like 18.5. Let me just check the bids real quick. We'll go like 18.25. How are the bids? The bids seem very low. You should be able to get for around 18K. It seems like people are kind of maybe a little scared on, on buying these, but try to get them around 18,000 coins and then going into content drop, list them for like 20. We did this last night. Last night's video, I said buy for 18 if you want to do it and then list for 20. They were 20K at content. So you should have been making 1,000 coins per card. Probably see something like that again on these team of the weeks. Try to get for 18K, list for 20K or higher. And um, team of the year is coming to an end. So team of the week should start to rise after team of the year with supply dying down and with less people doing the team of the week player pick because that team of the week player pick is really one of the only SBCs you can do requiring 83s and 84s so so many people have a crap ton of team of the weeks but once team of the year is done we won't see that as much i want to go all the way back here so we can see what exactly is refreshing tomorrow i think is it the icon let's just go through everything so not the hero player pick hero player pick does not refresh tomorrow does the icon refresh tomorrow the icon refreshes tomorrow this requires team of the weeks uh honestly you could you could maybe look at high rated fodder as in like 86 87s but look at the the special cards because special cards don't have high price ranges so um i'll show you in a second that's actually a decent move for for higher budget i didn't really think about that if they're not that expensive right now i'll have to look uh that'll be a little live trade that we think of together right now 85 double refreshes if i'm correct that requires a team of the week i think the 86 upgrade might refresh as well let's go 85 double upgrade Where's that at? 85 double requires a no team of the week. Really? No team of the week in the 85 double. Okay, guess not. I thought it did. 86 upgrade. I don't even know if it refreshes. It might, but if it does, it requires no team. Just 85s, bro. It's 85s everywhere, man. Um, One of these should be refreshing. Do I know which one it is? No freaking clue. But um, maybe a team of the week requirement. Okay, maybe there's not as many team of the week requirements as I thought tomorrow still at 18k as we're reaching the end of team of the year i still think it's a fine move now 86 87s let's head over to footbin and look at some potential uh 86 87s with higher price ranges so i'll do 86s because there's two 86 squads and we'll go by price we'll look at the cheapest and then we'll kind of go up from here so i go boom all right so a lot of these are around max price what do we got here donovan 15k Oop, up in price. All right, what about Makengo, 15K? So maybe if you can get 86s for like 15,000 coins. 86s for about 15K that are special cards. Even like 16K is probably fine. But yeah, I mean, come on. She's, she's chilling at 15. I, I think that's a decent move. And then tomorrow with the icon refreshing, all the SBCs refreshing as well. Yeah, I like that. 15K probably lists for like 18.5 going into content drop. I bet you get a good amount of sales. Um, that's my take on 86s, 87s. Uh, I don't know shit about 87s. What are they? How do I do this? Boom, back. Okay. 87s. Let's look at these. We'll go uh, price, do the cheapest ones, and we'll scroll down. And 87s. What do we got? So scary is so they're chilling at around 19k how they've been doing lately mm, that's not bad 19k i would i would do 19k on 87 special cards maybe list them for like 21 22 21 75 going into content drop tomorrow so there's a few investments for you guys uh what else do we got i think that's pretty much it 85s try to get for 6k 84s 11 1200 team of the week's 18 and 86 87s aim for the special <coughs> that was disgusting apologies what did i sell oh robertson um now expected content we're still waiting on saliba's sbc looks like i got that team of the week for 1825 i got foden for 55 i got uh stones for 6k i think foden was the previous video to be honest 
six K. Yeah, you can get these 85s. Uh, you can definitely get these 85s. And the team of the week seem like they're pretty much 18K. So there you go. Uh, so Libra should be coming. I think there's still more Evos set to come out. One of the 85 SPCs, 85 double, re we just went over all those SPCs that should be refreshing. And I believe the next promo is leaked to be road to the final. So those are the leaks. That was content. Crazy day, guys. Crazy day. Sadly, no Messi. Um, I'm working on Eusebio. He'll be going striker. I'm working on Saliba when he comes out. And my team is good to go. Um, I wish it could have been Messi right here, but it's not going to happen. I still have around 450, 500 packs left. So Team of the Year pack project still moves on. Hopefully, I uh, can get Messi. It just takes one pack. One pack and a dream, boys. One single pack and a dream. That's all it takes for a Messi. But... Uh, that's it yeah 86 player pick hopefully that comes back at some point any questions guys comment section down below trading discord twitch live stream description down below thank you so much for watching this video i'll see you all in the next one peace